Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I went from curly to straight with my HSI titanium iron. Let's get right into the process. So to start off this look, I split my hair into four workable sections. Two in the front, two in the back. This is going to make it very, very easy for me to work through my hair. Even though it's so fine, I have a lot of it. So it can take a lot of time if I allow it to. So I like to keep it to a 40 minute maximum. My hair is freshly cleansed and has no product as of yet. And yes, <laughs> I do need my clips to be all one color. <laughs> Now it's time to protect your hair from the heat since we are using a flat iron and a blow dryer. I needed to apply some Argan Oil Thermal Protectant Spray from HSI. I applied it section to section instead of all over my hair because I wanted to make sure that I coated my hair evenly and not miss any spots because I do love my curls and I can tell you guys my hair has already uh, been washed since filming this and my curls are all intact. Yay for protectant sprays. <laughs> so what's good about this spray is that it fights frizz and sun damage. So if you don't blow dry your hair and you live in a climate where the sun is really, really hot, this is going to protect your hair even if you just apply it and go. You don't have to actually be using real heat. The sun is heat, guys, so you want to protect your hair from that, especially if you color your hair, because the sun can help to fade it. So using a protectant spray is really, really, really beneficial. And also what it does is if you wear extensions like those clamp ones, it's not going to slide them out of the hair. So you can be sure to use protectant spray even if you wear extensions. So what I'm doing is using a paddle brush and my blow dryer to help get through the hair. I just want to get all of that water out of my hair before flat ironing my hair. So now after I have completely dried my hair and it is in this huge afro which I do love but that's not the look I'm going for <laughs> I'm going to flat iron my hair and that is something that I don't do often for you guys on my channel so I wanted to bring you guys something a little different and to do that I'm going to use my HSI titanium flat iron and I'm going to uh, use it on 430 degrees this does go up to 450 if you need a little bit more heat once your hair is 100% dry it's a lot safer to use a flat iron and a curling rod so I'm going to apply this with 430 degrees heat to my hair and I'm going to do a few passes I do want to do my hair in a curled look not super super straight I don't like that look I have big natural hair so I do like that my hair can look a little fuller if I apply a curl to it when I straighten it so that is what I'm going to go with I also don't like to fight what my hair likes to do so when I blow dry it the ends tend to want to curl back up so um, instead of fighting it I'm going to go with it and I'm going to curl my ends and uh, because this has the titanium adjustable plates it's going to allow me to curl my hair really easily so uh, look for that when you get a flat iron or you can just get this one <laughs> so I'm going to separate my hair the same way I did it for uh, blow drying except I'm just going to do uh, the sections uh, straight up so just take a small section in the back and then I'm going to clip the rest of this away and then just keep feeding and straightening I wanted to show you guys a few passes of the flat iron to my hair because it seriously curled my hair so easily there were no lines of demarcation and that's all because of the plates so you don't want to have to keep trying to get those lines out of your hair I don't know if you guys have ever tried a flat iron and then you have those lines in your hair those little ripples or crinkles and then you're trying to get that out there's where the heat damage can happen my hair was just gliding through because the plates are actually rounded on the inside so it wasn't causing any um, you know lines in my hair that were gonna drive me crazy because I definitely get why people get heat damage trying to get their hair nice and straight so um, definitely try to prevent heat damage by using heat protectants and flat irons that work and this one works as you guys can see I mean my ends need a trim but that's a whole different tutorial <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed seeing me flat on my hair which is something I don't do often and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel 
All the details are listed below in the description box. Till my next video, stay beautiful.